Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you for joining me today. So today is just going to be the very last look using the Morphe Boss Mood 35M palette. I've really been enjoying using this little palette all this week. Um, really got some great looks out of it, I think. And you guys seem to be enjoying it as well, so I'm really appreciative of that. Um, so yeah, I might make this into a series, like I said in the original first video. I'm obviously not going to do it with every single palette I've got, but with the bigger ones, I think I might do a five-day look with it like I've done with this one. Today, I wanted to focus on the bronze tone shades. Um, so, like I said, I think it was in yesterday's video, I think we'll use her stuff as a shimmer. Um, so I need to put this back in the drawer just so we've got a bit more room. I think we're going to go in with the same browns we used yesterday. Actually, I might try Talk Dirty. Um, and we're going to try and do it a little bit of a different way. So let's get into it. I'm using this little pencil. I'm going to try and attempt to do a cut crease. don't think we'll get there, but I'm going to attempt to do it. So let's see what we can do. Um, so yeah, it's just this brown one here. With this little um, lip pencil don't really have a clue on what I'm doing. I've put concealer down already and powdered it over the top. Just kind of like tracing the line. It's about here I want it. So... Right, let's try and blend it in a little bit now. Still can't see when my eyes closed. I'm going to use this brush. This is the Zoeva 235 Loops Crease Brush. So it's especially for the crease. so hard on this corner here because now I'm finding it a little bit difficult to blend it's blending in fine I mean it's not the best line I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it and then what we'll do is we'll put hot, st hot stuff on over the lid and then we'll do the other eye. It's a beautiful gold, isn't it, that? Actually, let's go in with a brush. Just wiped it all over my hand now. Um, let's go in with maybe an accent brush. The only thing is with this is it doesn't go on as well as what it would go on with your fingers. But I want it quite precise. So I might have to wet the brush. I like the colour. I like this... Um, this shimmer this gold shimmer like I said in I've said this in pretty much all the videos I've filmed a lot of them have um, glitters in them like a different color glitter to the actual eyeshadow which is real real pretty this one's got kind of like pinky tone glitters in. do you know like the um, what shade is it that we used hot to trot shade the, the more bronzy toned one that one had like pink glitters in it as well Sorry about the noise guys, the neighbours are giving me grief again. 
Right, so it is quite pigmented without wetting it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to this side um, and then we'll wet the brush as well and just see how much more pigmented we can build it up. They are doing my head in, honestly. Is there any need from morning to night to make a racket like that? This size is worse, so... I've gone and with um, the shimmer. This size is worse, so I've just got to concentrate on it. In fact, no, I was going to say, in fact, I might do it off camera, um, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've done the best I can with the left eye, but it never turns out the way I want it to. So we're just going to go in with heart stuff again. Right, they're really starting to piss me off now. Excuse the swearing, guys. I only swear when it's absolutely necessary and it's absolutely necessary. You'll notice in a lot of my videos are just making such a terrible racket. There's no right or wrong time to film because they're making a racket all day and night through. I mean, What's a person supposed to do apart from move? And I'm, I'm not prepared to do that. I've lived here far too long and got settled. I've lived here six years now. Well, nearly six years. There is no way I'm moving. I've moved quite a lot in my lifetime anyway um, and it's just got to the point where I just don't want to move anymore and I'm like I said I'm all settled here um, so now what I need to do is just use this for the highlight it's just a little accent brush and I think it's called light of the party or something like that yeah light of the party is just the inner corner highlight that we're going to be using it's really really pretty This eye is definitely much better than that eye. I've not attempted the cut crease, but I've actually had the placement of the eyeshadow like in the corner there, which looks nice. So I might start doing it like that every time I do my eye look. I'm not too bothered about attempting the cut crease. I've got hooded eyes and it's just, it wasn't working out. So I've just blended it all in. Um, you probably could still be able to see, no you won't actually. Because the shimmers up there, I'm gonna say you probably could still see the line where I attempted that cut crease, and it's a good job really that you can only see the shimmer. Can't hear myself think. Right, so for the lash line, let's find a darker brown. Yeah, there's one there sparks fly here so you're not going to get much darker than that that's a really good lash line shade actually so what are we using maybe this brush again maybe the accent brush and i still haven't done my favorite brushes that i'm you that i've been using over the last few months that video will come soon I've just got that many ideas for YouTube videos and I am so so pleased that you guys have um, kind of given me your input on what videos you like to see on the channel so thank you for doing that it really really helps out the channel so I know what you guys want to watch um, obviously I don't want to be recording something that only I like to do and you you don't like it so yeah I'm really glad that you've given me some feedback Maybe put that in as a wing. I need to sort my hair out. I washed it and it's gone all frizzy, so I'm, I'm going to need to straighten it, I think. Yeah, I just let it air dry and it's gone all frizzy now, so we're not looking our best selves. 
that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I forgot my name of it already, Sparks Fly. I'm going to, obviously I put Sparks Fly down and I'm going to put hot stuff over the top just so it kind of like coincides with what's on my eyes. Maybe just put it in the middle, let's see what that looks like. No, I want it all over. Pretty. But we've got fallout, so let's take that away. All you're going to hear is noise in this video. I'm really sorry, guys. I feel like going upstairs and banging on the door and telling them to shut the up. It's not even funny. You know, I know I'm smiling, but it isn't funny. They're like nightmare neighbours. And I don't even care if he knows, because he knows anyway. I've told him before. Right, so that's what we're looking like. And I've just realised, um, all throughout the video, I was looking in the LCD instead of the camera. I know that can be so annoying and I've pretty much done that in every single video anyway that I've done. I'm looking down the lens at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm used to looking at the LCD because for the past six years, that's what I've been doing. On my Olympus Pen EPLA, you can't tell because the viewfinder is here, just right beneath the camera. Um, and that's why I had to get a special mount made for the tripod. But on this video, um, the viewfinder is here, where I'm looking now. Um, so yeah, you can you can actually tell. Um, and I'm sorry if it's annoying for you guys. I will work on that. I'm hoping to have the Olympus EPL8 back soon. I mean, I've not even taken it into the camera shop. It you know. Um, I've not taken it into the camera shop. They just need to fix that lens or I need to buy a new one, which they're expensive. They're over £100. I think... To buy a new one it's like over £200 um, and that's just money I don't have at the minute. So I might have to save up for that and continue to use this Canon EOS 600D which I think is a pretty decent camera. Um, it's really really good for filming my shot my stash um, because I can actually show you like the drawers, whereas like before on the Olympus EPLA, I could never do that. I had to, I had to show you like by hand holding it. So I think going forward, I'm going to use both cameras. So I'm going to use the Olympus like for when I do makeup, like tutorials and things like that. And then I'm going to be using the Canon EOS 600D when I do my shot, my stash. I think that's the plan going forward. So you might notice a bit of quality difference on the bo on both of the cameras. I can't even remember now looking back. I mean, I know I've been using this camera for a while, but I can't even remember um, what video I last filmed with the with the Olympus EPL8. I can remember not being able to film a shot my stash and I can remember having to do that on my um, iPhone and I'm, I just didn't like the quality. I said I didn't like the quality. Um, compared to like my Olympus EPL8, it was bad. It was bad quality. Um, and when you're used to filming on a really good camera, then you know you notice the quality straight away. A lot of people said that the quality seemed fine, but I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have felt comfortable. And I don't have a tripod for my iPhone anyway, so I wouldn't have felt comfortable going forward using that. So I am glad that I have this backup camera. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping this going forward. I was actually thinking about maybe um, giving it to someone, but yeah, I'm not I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to keep it. Right, so this is what the eyes are looking like. Back to the makeup, guys. Yeah, that's what the eyes are looking like. So we've done everything with the palette. Let's get this out of my hair so I can actually sit forward. I'm just going to reach over here. Right, so now let's tie line and move forward. All right, okay. So we're using Max Graph Black as per usual. It's Project Pan. 
Um, so I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I really like this bronze. It's just a bit lighter than the other one we used. I'd lost my other mascara then I was gonna be like are you kidding me can anything else happen today it's been really really rubbish weather in the UK you might be able to hear it bouncing off the window um, but it was really really bad this morning um, and then <laughs> I rung my mum up oh, I'll tell you in a minute I rung my mum up and when I when I um went and dropped a bag off the other day I, I've mentioned it in in a video I don't know if it's gone live yet I went and dropped it dropped a bag off at the hospital for her and she gave me a bag to take home and she's ha yeah she basically has to go on this like it's kind of a machine to help her breathe now i'm not too sure if it's a, because of her sleep apnea or a myasthenia gravis or both so at night time she needs to be on it for at least a minimum of four hours but none of the nurses know how to do it in the hospital um i think they've tried and, and they just didn't know so she thought to herself well i know what i'll give it my daughter to take home with her and then my daughter will be able to do it like when I go home I mean literally she thinks that I'm a woman of all tricks she thinks I can pretty much do anything I'm not going to be able to do something that the nurses can't do am I so um she gave me this bag and then the doctor went round to see her today and said we don't have any recordings of the machine um and she said well that's because I've not been using it and the doctor said, and why not? And she said, well, none of the nurses can do it. So I gave it to my daughter to take home with her. <laughs> Sorry, it was just so funny on the phone with her. So I gave my daughter to take this bag home with her and um, she'll show me how to do it when I go home. And then the doctor said, are you going home today? And she went, no, I'm not. I'm not going home today. And he said, well, we need to monitor the recordings we need to monitor your breathing um and that's what the machine's for we didn't give it you to take out and we gave it you to do <laughs> to do it in the hospital i'm laughing so much because it was funny the way she was saying it and then she went on to say um the doctor really wasn't happy with me he just went off in a strap and said you need to bring that machine back by sunday so she's asked me to take it back she said you need to come on sunday and i said i'm not gonna come on sunday mum public transport is a mess um like there's a bus once every half hour um and you've got to obviously know when the bus timetable is so i'm gonna go and drop it off tomorrow with a few other things she wanted some cordial fetching anyway some pop um so i'm gonna go and drop that machine off um and i'll ask the nurse what it's for when she comes when she comes to take it off me i'll find out if it's for a sleep apnea or if it's for a myasthenia gravis i've got a feeling it's for a myasthenia gravis but it helps with a sleep apnea um, because you like when you've got sleep apnea your oxygen levels drop while you're sleeping and that's what they want to monitor so um yeah that's what they're going to be doing sorry i was laughing <laughs> just then it's just i was hearing my mum's voice my mum's accent in my mind um she's german so i was hearing her accent and talking about it it just made me laugh um so yeah that doctor wasn't happy with her she's getting in trouble already she'd been in hospital a week just over a week now and she's already in trouble um so what we're doing now lipstick so let's get back to the makeup okay so this is number seven's paprika i think soft paprika nearly got that um and i'm not too sure if i want to keep it in the collection and because it's kind of a neutral eye look i thought we would play with this lipstick so it's a really really nice blue toned um red lip but i don't know if i want to keep it i've got so many red lipsticks in my collection i just don't know if this is a favorite It 
is nice isn't it it's just i don't know if i want to keep it i don't want to just keep lipsticks around that i'm not going to use that much um so yeah this is what we're looking like looks very sultry and uh, very glam um really really like that there's just one other thing i want to talk to you guys about and it's, it is beauty related it's not about my mum being in the hospital um it's about the ule henriksen primer has anyone tried it i'm really i've been i've been lusting after that after that primer for such a long time um and i know make life your runway uses it i've seen it on her channel before but i was just wondering if there's anyone else out there who's tried it and what are your thoughts on it is it worth the splurge because it is 28 pounds in the uk it's a lot of money and effectively it's skincare as well because it's got like moisturizing aspects into it as well as the radiance primer so it does have that but i'm just wondering whether to splurge on it or not boots do their own vitamin c range so they've got a moisturizer and they've got an eye gel they've got a cleanser and then they've got like a, an all over radiance um body thing like body cream so you, you put the all over radiance body cream just on like the rough patches that you've got i'm not going to buy that but i think i'm going to get the moisturizer and the eye gel they remind me so much of the ule henriksen um they do like a little pack i'll um leave it i'll leave it at the end of the video so you can go and check that out um but i'm sure you know what i mean i think sephora do the same one that one is if i think either 32 pound or 36 pound if I'm going to be investing in the primer, the Ule Henriksen primer, I'm not going to be buying an Ule Henriksen like skincare system as well. I, if I like the primer, I might buy the skincare system on another month. Um, but I think I'm going to go to Boots. Depending on what your what you guys tell me, is I'm going to go to Boots and I'm going to purchase that primer and maybe um the Boots own brand vitamin C moisturizer and the boots own brand of the eye gel it's like this um they don't do it they don't do like a glow brightening mist though but do you remember me talking to you about the the creams the boots skincare range i don't think i put it up yet but they do this glow one and then they do a vitamin c one so it is like that um i will put that up really really soon so you actually know what i'm talking about in this video this video is going to go live before that video does um so yeah it's basically i tried some skincare on from boots by this glow range um so yeah that will be going live soon i might put that up on saturday and call it skincare saturday yeah so i think i'm gonna put the boot skincare haul up on saturday um just so it coincides with this video because i've been talking about it in the video i did have another video planned for saturday um but that will just have to get rescheduled for another time um just so you can see what i bought in the boots haul um i don't i don't think it's gone up yet yeah i've just been uploading older videos so now i think we're up to around march the videos are filmed in march um, so we're actually getting through them because I'm like putting four videos up a week, sometimes five. Um, so they are actually getting through them and I do have loads of other ideas to actually film. Like if this is your first time watching a video from the channel, I would love to know what you want me to film um, and I, I'll try and film that as well. Uh, but like I said, I do have quite a few ideas of upcoming videos um so yeah thank you for watching guys it really does mean a lot to me that you have if you've not already subscribed i would love it if you would um just click the subscribe button here on the right um yeah click that subscribe button um and click the notifications bell and i will see you in my next one bye guys